transpose the breadboard circuit over here changed it a little bit slightly uh, we've got now triple optocoupler coupler isolation so the Schmidt trigger output 7414 here goes to the opto the first two optocouplers and those can be seen with the light here trigger indicated pulse independently there we upgraded from a 1k to a 2.2k anode load resistor anyway taps off of those now for the voltage peak comes over to the first two inputs of the 7408 chip so the 748 is isolated from the schmidt trigger by the two optocouplers then the schmidt trigger is output on pin three here comes over to another grid uh, stop resistor to its emitter there and uh or sorry it's a collector and that is driving this also this uh, optocoupler which isolates now the 7408 chip from the external switching that it's going to be doing um, the only problem is is it's now phase inverted again the, the Schmidt trigger had it once set. the 7408 flipped it or uh flipped it one way the two optocouplers before that flipped it the other way and now this last optocoupler is flipping again so now we have a good strong seven volts positive eight volts positive dc uh, with the gate and then the gated waveform is perfectly applied to it so i get zero to max with uh, i think i could even measure turn the time on damn it Didn't want to work. Why? Oh well, it must be confused. Anyway, there it is. It's getting crowded. It's getting crowded. Not using them anymore. Optocouplers. Yay. Get it. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for terminals. It's really cool about the, uh, the 7408 chip allows you to turn on and off either frequency independently, and the other one still remains as you would expect. So if I unhook, if we shut off signal one, signal two still comes out. You know, if I shut off signal two, signal one still comes out. So you could actually put little inline toggle switches. I think I might switch that around to do that that way I could just run a single frequency and then turn on a second one and see what happens pretty cool huh